Hey everybody, John Ramdeen and Robin Black with the UFC 208 going down this Saturday night at, in Brooklyn, New York. The main event, Holly Holm taking on Jermaine Durandamy for the 145 pound championship. A whole bunch of big names on this card, but I want to talk about some of the fights that are kind of flying under the radar. If you were just a fan of fighters and you want to see guys scrap, Orion LaFleur is one of these guys. He always brings it, he's always in tip top form. And one of the reasons I love this guy is Damian Maia was able to tap out Matt Brown. Damian Maia was able to tap out Rick Story. Mm -hmm. He was able to tap out the former champion, Carlos Condit. Over five rounds, he could not tap out Ryan LaFlair. And if you remember that yeah. fight, Ryan LaFlair was coming on. If, it was, if this was one of those Valley Tudo fights yeah. where there's no time <laughs> yeah. limit, Damian yeah. Maia was in big shit. Yeah, he was. LaFlair is one of these guys. There's been the odd injury here or there that's kind of taken him off path. And that fight with Damian Maia was not quite where Damien was in everybody's sure. mind. So this ultra talented, like new age style, super athlete in Ryan LaFlair has not got his due yet. He's got a tough fight against Juan Canero, but this is a, a chance for us to see just how high level this guy is. I'm a huge fan of this guy. Uh, I just an, an absolute fan of the way he combines his physical attributes, that mental ability to know he's in better shape and force that on you with really interesting skills, really interesting off rhythm and off timing stuff too. He's hard to read. He's a really, really fun fighter to watch, and it's going to be awesome to see him back in the action. The one thing you also have to look at is when, when the casual fans, when they look at fighters to root for, they see a guy with a 12-1 and one record. It's like, oh, there's 10 knockouts yeah. there. It's easy to get behind a fighter like that. Yeah. When you look at Ryan Flair and you see decision, decision, right. decision, 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 what does he need to do? Because a lot of fans, well, I don't know, all these guys, there's so many fighters. Who, who do we dedicate our time to? What does Ryan Flair do? need to do to make sure the world knows that he exists in I, this world where there's so much noise. I really honestly think in most of these cases, the guys who try to cut through the noise never make it. They waste their time. The Demi if you are not the guy who has the crazy outfits and the guy who says the outlandish things and the guys who, you know, attract everybody's attention and all that kind of stuff, just beat everybody. Just go out there and be better than everybody. And take the Demetrius Johnson approach. I know it takes longer, but if you you're truly a great athlete and you can truly go in there and beat guy after guy after guy, it eventually becomes undeniable. And that often is the only way anyways. How many of these fighters who are trying to get your attention, trying to say and do the things and, and shoot shots of themselves training and make sure to maximize their social media, all of that shit doesn't do anything. It really doesn't. You feel like you're doing something. It's in action dis uh, disguised as action as so many things are in modern culture. If you're Ryan LaFlair, you go out there and you tune guys up. You go out there and you dominate people. You show that you're another level of guy. A few uh, injuries set him back a little bit for time. Well, you get that time back here. You go out there and you show what you can do against a Juan Canero, who is a tough, yep. tough uh, test and can submit a lot of people, although you can feel pretty good about handling Damian Maia in that department. And uh, you go out there and you dominate and you get healthy and you stay focused and you optimize your training so that you can fight two, three, four times this year and all of a sudden everybody's talking. But can't you also go out, fight like a savage and also have handlebar mustache like Rick Glenn did in the World Series of Fighting, because you see a guy like that, especially in his UFC debut, where he takes a fight yeah. on short notice, he's a 145 pounder, goes up to take yeah. Evan Dunham on, which is a ridiculous task. Even Evan Dunham says, this guy's tough yeah. as shit. Yeah. Yeah. So the idea is, Rick Glenn, it's gonna be difficult to make any noise at 145 or 155 yeah. pounds right now, especially we have Max Holloway, you have Jose Aldo, yeah. we have Frankie Edgar, and the enigma that is Conor McGregor. Don't, aren't you trying to do whatever you can do in addition to being exciting? If it's in you, and we are talking about the guys that are brilliant fighters and you should watch that you may not know about, and yes, Rick Glenn is one of these guys. I've been a mark for like five yeah. years. We called his fights live. We called his yeah. fights live in the score fighting series up in Canada, and the dude was devastating mm -hmm. at that time. Long and rangy when he chooses to fight from southpaw. What are you going to do? Double block that for a bit? Smash through your arms. Savage in the way that he goes in and expresses fighting, but that's natural for him. It feels right if he holds himself back he'll perform less well so he lets himself go uh, and it's Philip Nova that he's yeah. facing it's a nice matchup for him a chance Nova again this is another one of these guys there's no easy fights here you're putting yourself in harm's way against a skilled experienced guy like Philip Nova and no, it's in Nova's yeah. backyard the yeah. guy's from New York he's gonna want to perform yeah. in front of his people and we saw him fight when we were in Vegas at the Paige Van Zant Rose Namajunas show and he looked better he than he he's ever looked in my opinion yeah. he really did and um, I think 
think it's a benefit for Rick Glenn that this is in Nova's backyard. A little extra pressure. Maybe he'll go in and try to overperform. You do that against Rick Glenn, and he's going to slice and dice you up. Uh, these are two brilliant fights. Make sure you watch these fights because uh, there are guys out there that, and women that you need to know about and you need to pay attention Some to. Some great mixed martial arts action going down at UFC 208 this weekend.